Today on Tech Talk with Stuart Marlantis, we'll be talking about the cloud. It seems like everyone is excited about what the cloud has to offer, but what exactly is the cloud? And perhaps most importantly, what does it mean for students? What can it do for me? In more straightforward terms, the cloud is a collection of servers that provide the resources you use through the internet. Online office software, storage space, music and video streaming, and Wolfram Alpha and similar data processing services. But how can the cloud work for me? How can I get a piece of it? If you need storage space, which is perhaps one of the most useful facets of the cloud, there are many choices available. One of the simplest is Dropbox, which gives you two gigabytes of free storage space that you can access from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It will sync to a folder or your desktop, and you can easily get more space for free. Also, give them your .edu email, and you can get even more space. Other choices include Box.net, SugarSync, A Drive, SkyDrive, and LiveMesh. If you'd like, you can create and store Office documents in the cloud, too. The most prominent example of this is Google Documents. You can make presentations, spreadsheets, and documents entirely in the cloud, and then they can be accessed from any web browser. Microsoft recently launched a competitor, Office 365, which has comparable features. The only other choice for cloud-based Office suites is Zoho Office. Although each has its strengths, I believe that Google Documents is the best choice due to its integration with other Google services and its simple interface. One of the greatest uses of the cloud for students, besides storage, is note-taking. Now you may be thinking, how could the cloud possibly help me take notes? Well, I can assure you that the cloud is the best thing to happen to note-taking since the creation of the pencil. Take Evernote. You can take notes, organize them, and even take pictures, and they're available through any browser, smartphone, or tablet. You could be sitting in class taking notes on your laptop in Evernote, snap a quick picture of the board, and they'll be combined and organized. If you'd like something that simplifies note-taking but has less features, try SimpleNote. The cloud is not purely about work. If you'd like to relax and have fun, it's got you covered. If you want to watch a video, there's YouTube, Hulu, Amazon Instant, and Netflix among countless video streaming services. For music, there's Last.fm, Grooveshark, Pandora, RDO, Mog, and Spotify, among others. You can even game in the cloud, and I'm not talking about Farmville or Angry Birds. Check out OnLive, a service that streams video games straight to your computer or OnLive console. We're still in the early days of the cloud, but there's already so much that it has to offer. From productivity to note-taking to entertainment, the cloud has something for everyone. And even better, many of these services are free or very cheap. And that's something that everyone, not just college students, can appreciate. Thanks for watching Tech Talk. Direct questions or comments to techtalk at stuartmarlantis.com. We'll see you next time.